Hello and welcome back to Sumatra, Indonesia from Lake Toba. The world's largest volcanic lake and one of the world's few known super volcanoes which had one of the largest eruptions in known history. I am staying here at Toba Sunset. I have a bungalow just down there. I will show you my room in a moment. This is the beautiful scene here of Tuk Tuk, the village on Simose Island. In the middle of the crater. So the edge of the crater is here and it goes all the way around. It is absolutely enormous and this is such a beautiful setting here I will explain how I got here from Bukit Lawang and give you some more information about the place as we take a walk this evening I just arrived and took a shower and then tomorrow I will go around the island so let me show you my bungalow here it is not expensive I will leave the price down below. A few of the dogs hanging around. Hello. So this is my room. Very spacious. And the bedroom here. Then the bathroom. <laughs> trespassing are you so leaving Toba sunset for the calm streets here in Tuk Tuk and there is a very different atmosphere here to Bukit Lawang to Aceh to Medan, all the other places I visited in Sumatra. Just look at the architecture. The people here are the Batak people and they are mostly Christian. You won't see very many Muslims on Samosia Island unless they're visiting, I think. Maybe there are a few communities that live here. The Batak people have a very interesting history. I will talk more about that as I explore tomorrow. But look at their style of buildings. It's like a boat on the roof with this curved top with two points and then some patterns on the front. So how did I get here from Bukit Lawang? I took a shared taxi from Bukit Lawang, which went through the middle of Sumatra. It didn't call at Medan and stopped in Berestagi, a town near two volcanoes. One of them, Sinabong, very active the last decade, numerous eruptions. And the shared taxi there cost me 400,000 rupiah. It was, I think, pretty much the only way to get from Bukit Lawang to Lake Toba. I asked around and there weren't many other options. The company I went with, I don't recommend, but I don't know if you have another choice other than getting a private taxi. <laughs> They're called PT Bargus, but my driver was reckless. He was really driving very fast. And eventually he hit a dog. We ran a dog over, it was quite upsetting. And I wasn't really pleased with how it went, but I didn't really have a choice. I actually read their reviews on Google before taking them and someone else wrote in the reviews that their driver hit a dog as well. So it seems to be a common occurrence with this company. Oh, 
so just walking through the town here in the early evening late afternoon no mosques here although i'm sure there are one or two it is all churches interesting to see it's closed but we can just take a look from the outside in my shared taxi from Bukit Lawang to Parapat on the shore of Lake Toba. The whole area was dotted with churches and so a very different feeling here to the north of Sumatra. It seems the people in this area are almost all Christian, although I, like I said, I'm sure there are Muslim communities And so arriving at the edge of Lake Toba in the shared taxi, it is quite amazing to see how steep the drop-off is to the lake and also how large the lake is. From the northern tip where we came from to drive all the way to Parapat, it took around two hours a, or an hour and a half or so. A long drive and that's only halfway down the lake. And then from there, I needed to take a ferry across to reach Samosa Island. The views from the ferry and of Parapat are just beautiful. You get the sense of the whole grand scale of Lake Toba. It takes around 45 minutes just to cross. Or half an hour, I'm not sure exactly. The ferry that I went with cost 15,000 rupiah but there are different companies operating at different hours of the day. So I don't know, maybe the price is different with some of the others, I'm not sure. And as you cross the lake, it is quite amazing to think that the lake has depths of 450 to 500 meters. So why is it so deep? And why is Lake Toba's crater so large? Well, as I mentioned earlier, one of the largest volcanic eruptions in history took place, I think between 75,000 and 78,000 years ago, but have a check on the internet. I think people will give you different estimates. And it's supposed to have wiped out almost all living species on earth and the human population at that time went down to just a thousand. I mean, this is all theoretical, but that's what it's believed. And the eruption was so enormous that it caused the world temperature to drop by 15 degrees for three years and caused a period of a thousand years of very cold temperatures. Evidence from the eruption was found all the way in Lake Malawi. This was not a normal volcanic eruption when you see the size of this entire crater that I am now right in the middle of. Can you imagine the whole thing going off? People say it can go off again at any time once the magma slowly builds and builds underneath here one day it will whether that's tomorrow a thousand years ten thousand years a hundred thousand three or four hundred thousand who knows samosa island here in the middle was formed as a result of the magma and year on year these mountains get slightly higher from what i've read I saw an excellent video talking about Lake Toba. I will leave the link in the video description because it can tell you a lot more than I can. I'm just giving you the general idea that it was one of the largest eruptions in history. This is a super volcano and it's a beautiful place. The rest of the information I'm sure you can find from better sources than me. I just want to show what it's like here. And speaking of that, pathways for pedestrians. Not something you see a lot in Indonesia.
but the town of Tuk Tuk is a very pleasant place to walk around here with its pretty unique architecture rice fields cloudy misty backdrop of mountains the lake friendly people hello of all the suggestions i've been given about where to go in sumatra in the comments of my videos lake toba has been the standout one that i keep seeing again and again there seems to be a lot of interesting things here that make it unique the batak people who were once cannibals i'll talk more about that tomorrow they would drink the blood of others and then the beautiful mix of the nature the lake and the buildings plus the history of the volcanic eruption and how this whole unique place came to be and the fact that people are living in it and it's thriving today it's so peaceful another viewpoint here looking north towards the very end of the crater as far as the eye can see it carries on the island finishing just there this immense caldera plenty of choice of different restaurants to eat at here in Tuk Tuk souvenirs wise wooden carvings of the traditional Batak houses and the staffs so I've just come back to the bungalow after dinner here at the front and unfortunately I ran out of battery on my GoPro and I kind of made the mistake because I ruined two of my spare batteries for the GoPro in the jungle um, they were the old GoPro batteries and they expanded somehow and now I cannot put them in the GoPro they're no good to me I only have one battery left <laughs> and uh, I did not think to bring my power bank so I could charge it along the way anyway I had my dinner at a place called Jenny's restaurant really good they have this grilled lake fish that they fan out the front and it is really tasty they marinate it really nice to try the fish here i'm gonna take some rest now after the long day of traveling and i will see you in the morning where i will get out and explore more of samosa island in lake toba good morning and welcome back beautiful scene here early on today and I'm going with the guy from my guest house, Toba Sunset, the bungalow I showed yesterday, it's over there. And we're going on a motorbike. The weather is just beautiful. There are always clouds, it seems, above the center of the island, adds to its mystery. And then here, the lake which gets very deep very quickly. I can see quite a lot of fish down there. All right, so we've arrived at our first stop, which is the stone chairs. So like yesterday, here is the traditional style of Batak houses. Except these are the real deal with their boat shaped roof, tiny doors to enter. So this must be the grave of the former king, Sialagan. 
and behind this tree are the stone chairs which are thought to be 300 years old or they could be even older this is where the group meetings were held among the village elders they would gather round this table here and discuss all sorts of matters and what we're about to see here is where executions took place the Batak people were actually cannibals and fed on other humans so further on these stone furnishings here as this man is demonstrating are where people who were convicted of crimes or wrongdoing were blindfolded and had their hands bound and then they were sliced rubbed with chili and garlic <laughs> and then also their organs were removed for eating particularly the heart and the liver and the blood of the victim or wrongdoer was also drank by the local Batak people So this might actually be the resting place of King Sialagan. The faces on the edge of the tomb here are quite interesting. Other people buried here too. We're now in the village of Simanindo and it's been really interesting going along the way to see the different churches and the cloudy backdrop. In fact, I think Samosa Island might be the perfect setting for a horror movie <laughs> with their old style architecture and then the kind of creepy churches with the backdrop. And then also you add to that the history of the sacrifice and then <laughs> the fact that we are inside a super volcano, it all kind of comes together. So this is a museum here in the town of Simonindo. It's 20,000 rupiah to enter. more Batak houses. You can't really get tired of looking at them. I'm really not sure what this is supposed to represent, but it's cool, a little bit scary, <laughs> along with some of the other stuff. By the way, I don't say that to offend anyone's culture. If you're from the Batak people, I hope you understand how it looks to an outsider. Of all the Batak houses, the one that the museum is inside might be the best restored traditional house. And it was actually home to the king, Raja Simalungun, and his 14 wives. I'm getting a fairly scary energy from this. Look at these masks here. I had no idea Lake Toba had such a fascinating history when it comes to the Batak people and their practices and their culture their style of houses. All right, so driving on to the northern tip and we are at Batuhoda Beach, which is full of locals enjoying themselves. 
Not so many foreign tourists. Seems like there's a couple places to eat, which would be a good thing because I am hungry. Before I do so, let's take a look at the view here of Lake Toba from the northern tip of Samosa Island. Large groups of people with their things, I'm not sure. They come to the beach and set up shop. We have a Dutch windmill here. I'm going to say Dutch, I'm going to assume, because of the history of Indonesia. Now, even though this is a majority Christian area, people are still covering up when they go swimming here. Although I imagine many Islamic locals from other parts of Sumatra come here to go on holiday. You can see the surrounding Caldera mountain range that consumes Samosir Island on the other side of the water. Let's go and grab something to eat. Nothing better than a little nasi goreng to keep me going. I haven't eaten today. I was having some stomach problems this morning, but I've managed to hold on till 12. And now I'm ready to have a go with some rice and uh, play it safe. So this here is Panguriran, which is, I think, the largest town on the island. Is that right? The most people on the island. Which is on the west side of Samosa Island. Local markets here. Following the beach, we decided to take a full lap of the island. as we may as well, instead of coming back the same way we came. I think if you have to choose between the main place to stay on the island and Tuk Tuk is the obvious choice, coming from Medan or from Bukit Lawang, Beristagi and then also here it's clearly a lot less touristy and peaceful compared to Tuk Tuk which is kind of a paradise as I showed yesterday so after passing through the town we have just made a stop here grabbing a coconut and a coffee there is a strong smell of sulfur on this side. There are some hot springs nearby, which explains the smell. You can see the turquoise color of the water it changes, there's different patches of color. And then these bright green mountains or hills on the edge of the crater there. Quite spectacular scenery and a perfect place to stop as we make our long journey around the island. Refueling stop. It's really a long way to go full circle around the island.
so we have stopped in another cafe having been on the bike for a long time and that is Tuk Tuk right there the little peninsula parapet where you take the ferry is over this way so we left this morning going like that the stone chairs are over there made our way full circle around the island and nearly back now we're going to stop at one more place along the way which is the tomb of a former king but this is a great viewpoint this cafe right here at one point we passed through the clouds and it got very uh chilly actually um this eastern side of the island is much hillier than the western side and there are waterfalls and far less people as well living on this side So we're now here in the village of Tomok, which is just five kilometers south of Tuk Tuk, where I'm staying. We're almost back and we are just stopping by this place because it has the tomb of a former king, Siddhar Bhutar, and around here there are lots of Batak tombs which are quite interesting to see. Most of them, the elites and royals. I believe this one is King Siddhartha because of the carving of the face. And I'm told the tomb next to it is one of a missionary who converted many of the Batak tribe to Christianity. Welcome back from the ferry. I did not show it on the way to Samosia Island behind me. So I just wanted to quickly show you on the way back to Parapat. You can see the lake here up to 500 meters deep, like an ocean. It's 25,000 for this ferry. I think the one I took coming to Samosa Island was 15,000. After getting back yesterday, I just rested at Toba Sunset. This is the last video from the Sumatra series. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a flight to Kuala Lumpur from Medan tomorrow. I'm heading back to Medan today by shared taxi again, or a bus, whatever I can find when I get there. Perfect way to end what has been a remarkable trip. I think Sumatra is so underrated as a place far more people should be giving it a shot hopefully my video series you can check the playlist on my channel will give you some inspiration if you are looking for something in Indonesia a bit less crowded than Bali or even Java in places so give Sumatra a chance rainforest trekking with orangutans beautiful islands in the north and then unique super volcanoes like this there is a lot to see here and I've only just done the north of the country. There is still a lot more to see halfway down and in the south as well. So I'll see you on the next video from Kuala Lumpur. I'll do one more before heading back to the UK, I think. So I'll see you then. Peace.